how to create LinkedIn company page and also why it's so important to verify your employees once you have it created. All of that in this video. Fortunately, creating a company page is not rocket science. So you're going to go click for business and then you're going to click create a company page and you're going to pick company. Once you have it loaded, you're going to fill up all this information I'm going to do just now and then we'll discuss it. Again, this is not rocket science. Name is the name of your company. Here is your URL. So this is URL. You can change it so you can use it whatever fits best. If it's already taken, LinkedIn will not allow you to use the same URL. So you have to think of something different. Your website goes here. Then you pick an industry. This is something that you can pick from the drop down menu here. Then goes your organization size. You can pick any size, whatever fits your best type of organization privately held public company whatever it is and then the final bit of text you need to include is your tagline so this is where you briefly describe exactly what your organization is all about here it's also asking you to include the logo you can do this now or you can do it later in a moment last thing you need to do is check this bit here and then create page by the way now that i'm helping you to create this linkedin business page i also invite you to download my seven step guide on how to promote your business on linkedin it's a guide i use for my clients it's super awesome and it will help you to grow on linkedin super super fast without making all those mistakes and wasting a lot of valuable time if you want that guide make sure to comment i want the guide in the comment section below and i'll send it over to you congratulations you have now created your company page now we're going to go into whatever linkedin is telling us to do and it asks us to add a description and add a logo so we're going to do just this click add this is the bit where you include the overview because it's so important linkedin doesn't allow you not to have it then you can also manage your description in another language say if your company is present in some other countries like spanish-speaking countries you can include your description right here then you'd have all these bits already included because you filled them up before. However, you can also include your phone, which is not necessary. And you can include the founding year, which is also not necessary. I also suggest you add a specialty. You can add up to 20 specialties. So you can type in whatever, whatever you specialize in and then hit enter and then have another few specialties added there as well. Once you're done with this bit, you're going to click save. Now that you've got your description edited, it's time to add the logo. And this is super simple. You're going to click this button and pick the logo that that you already created your best logo size is 300 by 300 pixels right here i've got facebook's logo just for the laughs now this is the bit where linkedin is trying to sell you its premium page service so in this case it's trying to sell me on standing out getting noticed and growing your client base faster we are not going to go for this because linkedin company pages they're really hard to get followers for and you will be getting most of your business through your personal brand rather than a company page which is still important to have. Again, this is your chance to change the LinkedIn URL if you decided to switch it for whatever reason. And your tagline can also be adjusted at this spot in the menu. Whenever you're ready, you're going to click save. What you're going to do next is you're going to add the location so it's easier for members to search your page based on the location. Click add. This is where you pick the country and you type in the street address, its city, and anything else that you want to include. There we go. I just filled up the information that I want to go in here. And all I'm going to do is click save. By the Way, I keep getting this error saying another admin is trying to make changes to this page at the same time as you please try again this is a complete nonsense there is no other admin so it must be some form of a LinkedIn's glitch that I'm seeing right now however if you get it as well all you need to do is close this menu reload the entire company page and come back to this menu once again which I'm going to do now okay I've just done this and let's click save now as you can see this reloading really helped you can also add another location in case you're not happy with having the headquarters only headquarters you can add like some adjacent areas to do that you would click add location and repeat the entire process remember if you get the error all you need to do is close this in just reload the entire page and repeat the process once again next we're going to add a valid email domain and that's done in order to protect your brand on linkedin I'm going to click add now you've got this menu so we're going to add the domain right here it's important to type it out with the add sign at the start and include the name of your domain after it. Click add. And now you're going to click save. If you have more than one domain, you can once again click the add domain button and add another domain right here and click add afterwards. Now let's go back to the dashboard and see what LinkedIn has for us still. And it's got two things really here for us that we are not going to use at this stage because it asks us to feature top content. So it means we have to actually create some content beforehand and then it 
asks us to invite the connections, which we have 250 invitations remaining. And that's something we can try doing. But again, I don't want to do it right now because it makes no sense. However, the page setup process is not done yet. We need to set the banner as well. To do this, click this button right here. And you can see that there is a recommended size of the banner. All you need to do is get the banner ideally from Canva and upload it right here. And don't forget that I've got this LinkedIn growth guide, the seven step guide on how to grow on LinkedIn super fast. And if you want it, make sure to comment, I want the guide in the comment section underneath this video, and I'll send it over to you so you can enjoy all the perks and outgrow your competition super fast. We're not finished setting up the page just yet, but I want to show you something that's really, really important. I want to share with you how you can manage the admins of this business page. To do this, you need to go to the settings and then click the manage admins button right here. And this is the spot where you can add admins and give them certain rules so that they can perform certain actions. In this case, you can see that I'm the super admin of this page, meaning that I have all the power, like in a proper dictatorship. So now I'm going to click add admin. It's important to know that people don't need to be the members of your company page in order to become the admins. You can search literally for anybody like I'm doing right here, and you can pick the person to become the admin of your page. So make sure you're picking the right person for it. Now let's run the final check and make sure that everything is in place. To do this, go to edit page. We have already worked on this part. We have included all the information necessary. Now we're going to go to the buttons menu. A button is something that LinkedIn allows any company to have on their LinkedIn company page so that when your potential customers or anybody who checks out your company page visits you, they've got an option of clicking on this button. As you can see by default, they're turned on. However, you can change the custom button and you can pick the button name dependent on the call to action that you're willing to choose. The standard one is the, as you can see, visit the website. However, you can pick visit portfolio, visit store, sign up, register, learn more and contact us. Personally, I recommend you pick either learn more or contact us because these buttons, they tend to give the most value for the money. And once again, make sure that the URL of your website is correct so that people, once they click this button, then end up on your website and not somewhere else. LinkedIn is once again trying to sell us their service, which we're not going to take as of now. Next menu is the featured menu. And once you click manage featured, you once again, you need to have some content here. So you can create a post in order to have it featured. And I'll show you how this works. Here's my post, how to create a company page on LinkedIn. Going to post it now. Now that I've got my first post, I'm once again going to go to the edit page menu going to click featured, I'm going to click manage featured. And this is where I'm supposedly should be seeing feature a post. And then that's it. That's my only post here. I'm going to click select as a company. I highly recommend you feature your lead magnet here and potentially a link once again to your uh, profile page and a link to your contact us page. Because generally speaking, if somebody is ready to work with you, they will go into your contact us page, which is ideally a landing page with some testimonials and some proof that you have social proof, or if they're not ready, they'll get inside your sales funnel and get nurtured by emails. That's important to do. That's how you accumulate those touch points and build the goodwill with your potential customers. And to show you how this whole featured section looks like just the entire company page, really, we're going to click this button view as member. Here's our LinkedIn company page. As you can see, the banner is missing. I haven't uploaded it. The overview is right here. And then there is this page post, which I just created, and it's also been featured and you can see it right here. That's going back to me proposing that you want to have something more relevant here, like a call to action to your to get a freebie or for people to actually get in touch with you directly. Now let's see that we've got everything else in order by clicking edit page. We've got the featured section sorted out. Now we're going to go to the about section and make sure that the details are dialed in. Everything looks good here. Let's go to workplace. This is an interesting bit. I highly recommend you have it because people check this out if they're considering job at your company and you want to pick whatever represents your company here. So I'm going to click hybrid and then I'm going to describe the company's policy. And once you have a link, which you absolutely should to the company policy URL, you're going to insert it right here. You can also include the benefits, which is pretty awesome. You can have company wellness days, gym on site, free meals. That's pretty awesome. So you can include anything that will make your company more desirable to your potential candidates. You can also include the responses to this questions here, location based pay adjustment and vaccine policy, depending on your preferences, if you consider that important or not. Once you're ready, you're going to click save. 
Once you're done with the workplace, you're going to go to the commitments. This is a cool feature if you are looking to actively hire on LinkedIn. So you're going to click continue in case this is the situation. And I'm going to click work life balance, provide some description. I also am going to add a perk and a benefit because that's compulsory in this case. Then if I want to add another commitment, I'm going to click add commitment. But for now, I'm going to click save. As you can see, the description is too short. So I'm going to fool the system and do it like this save now i've got my commitments and i'm going to go to the next stage which is locations once again we've got it all dialed in here so everything looks good i don't need to add more locations but if i wanted to i could right here next bit is a lead generation form you can activate the lead gen form right here in the linkedin company page menu pick a cta like start free trial, get started, request free demo. So if you're a B2B SaaS company or anything of that nature, that's pretty, pretty powerful. I'm going to click start free trial. This is the privacy policy URL, which I'm going to type in here. And this is where you personalize your lead generation form. So you're going to type in whatever is the headline and the body copy. This is here in order for members to know what to expect once they submit the copy. And this is the part where you can have the preview. And as you can see, I've got my headline and body copy. And you can click the Start Free Trial button once it's activated. Or you can switch it to another CTA and it will change here. For now, I'm going to click Save. Last but not least is this Manage Languages menu. Let's check it out. As I mentioned, English is a default language, so I have it all set up in English. However, if I wanted to add another language, if I worked with different clientele from different countries, I would do so by clicking Add Language. I pick the language here and then I would do exact same thing everywhere and describe all the company name, the tagline, description, everything, everything in another language. I'm not going to do this right now. So I'm going to click back. So we're almost ready and we're going to go into manage restricted members and make sure that this then is taken care of because sometimes you want to restrict somebody from accessing your page. Maybe it's a competitor, maybe it's somebody that is annoying, whatever it is, this is the place for you to manage these people. You can also manage your followings. You can pick the pages to follow right here as well. So you can follow, in this case, I have Socket, Virginia Railway Express, et cetera, et cetera. You can do that as well. Now, I also manage inbox. Once you click the button, you've got this message button, which is available. And let me show you how it looks like real quick, because I've got this other page and this is your inbox. You have like people that message you in this case, they're just literally trying to degenerate me, which is all right, but who cares? Then you've got this conversation topics, which you can pick, yeah. By default, they're all turned on. That's how you set this inbox then up. Next is the job posting. If you're interested in it, we've already verified this domain. If you want to post, you need to post from this domain. This is what it says, domains for job posting access, and you would do it right here as well. Last but not least, if you don't need your LinkedIn company page anymore, you can take it down inevitably and click deactivate. Now, before you go any further, I know you want to build your LinkedIn. I know it's you grow your brand. So I invite you to get my seven step guide on how to grow your LinkedIn super fast. Save a lot of time. Don't make mistakes, which you don't have to make. Just let me know in the comment section below if you need it and I'll send you the guide, okay? And I'll see you in the next LinkedIn video.